one of the important mediators of aberrant signaling in HER2 positive breast cancer uh, are the ligand dependent HER2, HER3 heterodimers. And trastuzumab, uh, as much activity as it has in the clinic, actually does not disrupt those heterodimers between HER2 and HER3. And that particular heterodimer is the most potent in terms of mitogenesis of any of the HER2 containing dimers. Consequently, it might be nice to try to interrupt that association between HER2 and HER3 if HER3 is really a bad actor in HER2 positive disease. So in order to do that, uh, pertuzumab um, binds to the dimerization interface on HER2 and blocks its ability to engage HER3. And the dimerization interface where pertuzumab binds is a completely distinct epitope separate from the trastuzumab uh, epitope, which is closer to the cell surface in what's called domain four. Consequently, it's possible to give both antibodies, trastuzumab and pertuzumab, and in theory, they can both bind to HER2 simultaneously indeed. And in that way, disrupt ligand-dependent HER2, HER3 heterodimer formation, which is what pertuzumab does. And then trastuzumab's mechanism of action is probably also interrupting some HER3 associations that are ligand-independent. And it's been shown in clinical trials now uh, and recently approved by the FDA last year that combinations of pertuzumab and trastuzumab with docetaxel are superior to docetaxel and trastuzumab alone.